Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Passover, Friday, Nisan 14, 33 AD. And the focus of this post is that Christ died on Friday. And um, I found six scripture references that point to the idea that Jesus died on a Friday. The first one is out of John chapter 19 verse 31 then the Jews because it was the day of preparation so that the bodies would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath for that Sabbath was a high day asked Pilate that their legs be broken and that they might be taken away the Sabbath is on a Saturday well the day before Saturday is Friday and the Jews wanted to make sure everybody was dead before the Sabbath or before Saturday. They had to get everybody off off the cross, make sure they were dead and buried, because it would be a violation of Jewish law. And a bunch of uh, good legal Jews would want to make sure that we didn't violate the law when we had somebody illegally tried and murdered. Let's make sure and get them in the grave so we don't violate the law. Uh, the second reference, this one's from Jesus himself in Luke Chapter 22, verse 15, And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Now, in, in Jewish mindset, and this goes back to Genesis 1, the day begins when the sun sets. So it's not like here in the West where our new day begins at midnight. In, in Jewish time concepts, the new day begins when the sun sets. And when Jesus said this, the sun had already set, it was a new day, it was Friday, and he knew he was going to suffer and die later that day. So, you know, he could have said this at, say, 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening when it's dark, um, and it's a new day, it's Friday. He knew he was going to be dead and buried by the time this day was over. Uh, a third reference, Mark chapter 15 verse 42 when evening had already come because it was the preparation day that is the day before the sabbath sabbath so here's here's a clear reference to where scripture says it's the day before the sabbath which would be friday and there this this same idea is communicated in two other places in the gospel accounts in luke chapter 23 and also in mark chapter 15 and it was the preparation of Jesus' body to make sure it was in the tomb before sundown the next day. When the sun sets, the next day begins. So when the sun sets on Friday, Saturday starts. And there was a mad dash to get Jesus off the cross and buried before the Sabbath. And Jesus was effectively going through the same things that all other lambs were going through at that time um, in Israel and in Jerusalem. He was experiencing the same fate of lambs all throughout Israel. A fourth reference, Luke chapter 23, verse 54, it was the preparation day. So again, the day before the Sabbath, and the Sabbath was about to begin. Preparation day is essentially the day before the Sabbath. And then the last two, these are two quotes from Pilate. Pilate gives time markers with his comments. John chapter 19, verse 14 now it was the day of preparation for the Passover, so it would have been the day before the Sabbath, or Friday. It was about the sixth hour, and he said to the Jews, Behold your king. And the last reference is John, chapter 18, verse 39. But you have a custom that I release someone for you at the Passover. Do you, re do you wish that then that I release them, the king of Jews? And that was Pilate's quotes. So there are six different references. I'm sure there are many more. But those are uh, six examples of um, Scripture pointing out that Jesus was crucified on a Friday, and they had to get him off the cross and buried before the Sabbath, which was a high day, a holiday, and they didn't want to violate the law. If these types of things are interesting to you, please uh, feel free to check out www.paulthepoke.com, and there's a keyword search and reference on the right side of the, of the posts, or on the page. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.